If you're recording vocals in GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad, there may be a time where you want to view your lyrics on a different app while you're recording GarageBand. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now there's a couple of things we need to do here. We firstly need to put GarageBand into background mode and then we need to show you how to switch between apps while we're recording in GarageBand so we can look at our notes app or wherever else our lyrics may be stored. So let's dive into the iPhone now and take a look. So the first thing we need to do to make this happen is to make sure GarageBand is in background mode. So to do that we tap on the settings in the top right corner here and then we scroll all the way down to advanced. We tap on advanced and then run in background needs to be on so this allows other apps to be active with GarageBand still running in the background it will use some more battery and some more processing power but if we want to use this process we need to have that enabled so we'll hit done and now let's set up to record this vocal so I've got my track ready here. I've got my piano and organ and drums and bass here. And now I want to add this vocal track. Now this is just, as you can see, I'm out here in nature. So this is just a bit of a scratch vocal just as I'm writing the lyrics, but I want to be able to record it now so that when I go back to the studio, I can re-record it and make sure I'm on the right track. So what we want to do, we've set up a new vocal track here and I've also got some space here at the front. So I've got four bars of lead in before the instruments actually happen. And that's important because you want to make sure that it's not jumping straight in. You've got some lead in time to use the method I'm about to show you now. Now I've already got my other app which is OneNote open which has my lyrics in it but if you don't you'll just need to go to that app and make sure it's open because what I'm going to do is I'll show you how we can switch. So here on the iPhone XS we slide up from the bottom here and then we can slide to the side and tap on our lyrics here. So we're going to be doing that as soon as we hit record we're going to jump over here to the lyrics we're going to be able to read the lyrics and record them and then we're going to do the same. We're going to slide up slide across and jump back to garage but if you're using a device that has a button, you just need to double tap on the home button and the same thing will happen. So let's now hit record and show you how we can record vocals with the other app active. What's the matter with people these days? They're trying to be something more They're worrying more about what people say Than who they can do something for We're trying to have a society here But they only care about how they appear They're making excuses and passing the blame So let's make a toast And share one more post For the strangers who don't even care So we've recorded our vocals, background, birds and all, so now we're going to slide up, slide across, and go, go back, back to, to GarageBand, GarageBand. We're, we're going to hit, hit stop, stop. And, and then, then we'll, we'll go, go to, to our, our track. track view, and here we are, there is that vocal recorded, so it's as simple as that. Now this isn't going to be my final finished vocal, clearly, but it's a great way to capture those ideas. I can now go back and work on these lyrics, I can listen back and see what works, what doesn't, and tweak it as I like. So even without a second device or having my lyrics anywhere else, I can get this done here on my iPhone. And there you have it, a simple and effective way to record your lyrics if you don't have another device or another screen or a piece of paper with your lyrics on them. You can use the one device, but still record those lyrics ideas down. If you'd like to check out some more videos, there's two linked right down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you on the next one.